It is sort of like the movie Click, in that the word mute was involved. Hey everybody, and welcome to Junk Mail, the internet show where we talk about a television show, Garbage Time, with Katie Nolan. That's me. I'm going to answer some of your questions now, starting with some emails. One from a lady. Email from Renee from Germany. Going international. Uh, Punch Drunk Love, Rizzo Weidman Trey Songs. That is the Garbage Time guest Punch Drunk Love. I'm a Punch Trey Songs. Because <laughs> I already got drunk with him, and I'm pretty sure if I wanted to love him that night, I could have. Uh, I am going to get drunk with... We'll see, Weidman's married to my friend. So I'm gonna have to get drunk with Weidman and love Rizzo, but don't read too much into this. I don't really want the D. Another email from another lady. I'm curious, do they send pictures of their vaginas when they send the emails? Cause it's usually just, I don't check that email cause it's all dicks. Uh, Lisa said, I was wondering how many people you block in a week on Twitter thinking it must be in the hundreds. I would, I think I've blocked under 25 people in my entire time on Twitter. I don't block that often. I'm more of a fan of the mute button. I've said this before, but if you mute somebody, then they don't know that you can't hear them anymore, and they just keep going, and I just don't see it. And so, sometimes when you block people, they wear it like a badge of honor, like, Katie Nolan blocked me, she sucks. They have no idea, I've just muted them. It's genius. Rochelle asked, would you rather have to do the wave for an entire New York Jets game or be proposed to on a Jumbotron at a Knicks game? If you get proposed to on a Jumbotron in the forest and no one's around to hear it, <laughs> did you still get proposed to? I would get proposed to on a Jumbotron at a Knicks game because I could just say no and then it's over. Andrew asked, what are your second favorite teams in all the sports? Great question. I think we've already said in football it's the Bears. Sorry. Baseball, second favorite team, the Mets? Because they're not a threat to me. <laughs> Basketball's easy, the Spurs. Hockey is tough for me. The Whalers, <laughs> the Hartford Whalers. Grant asked, what is the best slash worst unwritten rule in sports? I love when people ask best slash, it's like, which do you want? The best, I would say, is in hockey when you do something stupid and you, when the enforcer comes back out and you know you're going to get your ass kicked on the next play. That's the best unwritten rule in sports. Personal accountability, because if you do something f***ed up, you're going to get f***ed up. Welcome to the real world. Don't start no shit, won't be no shit. Right? That's a, is that Ralph Waldo Emerson, I believe? <laughs> Worst unwritten rule in sports that you can't um, celebrate your home run. That you're not supposed to be like, excited that you just did something amazing in an athletic way. Jeff asked, did you have to stop the clock during the beer mile or reshoot segments and was it real beer? First of all, of course it was real beer. I don't, we don't lie on this show. Have I mentioned I'm a virgin? Did you have to stop the clock? No, we didn't. At one point when we were using the drone, somebody came over and was telling us we couldn't use it anymore. I was like, oh darn, we have to stop shooting. And so I stopped, but I mean, I was drinking my beer anyway. Uh, and then the producers were like, nope, keep going. So that was the only moment that I kind of like stopped. We didn't reshoot any of that because it wouldn't work. We made very sure that we had everything planned out because if I had to go back and pretend to not have drank all the, it wouldn't have worked. So no, that was an actual beer mile and it was an actual embarrassing amount of time it took me to finish. Al, Kaholic, get it? Uh -huh. Al said, if heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? <laughs> Who did you have to fuck to get here? <laughs> Jonathan asked, how drunk were you at the USA Germany game? I'm... That day was a whirlwind. We didn't eat much food, and I then once I got to the game, Strangely enough, we couldn't pour our own beers or get our own beers. We had to ask this one person and he would just keep bringing us the beers. But so we just started doing two at a time and then I got pretty, pretty banged up. And lastly, Brian said, could you please give our softball team, Duck Country, a pep talk? We're in a bit of a tailspin right now. All right, listen up, Duck Country. Pull it together. This is the, did the season just start? I don't know. I know your season just started. Question mark? 
or you're coming up on the playoffs. One of those two things is happening. And either way, get your shit together. Do better. Be better. Strive for more. Hit the ball. Catch the ball. Run fastly. And slide headfirst into life. <laughs> Duck country. Woo! All right, guys, that's it for junk mail. Thank you for sending in your questions. Don't stop doing that. This week on Garbage Time, you tell me what happens because you have as, as good of an idea as I do. But the good news is we are airing in prime time, 1.30 a.m. on Monday morning. See you then. Bye.